Uh, tra Trap Gambino, who tell me drinks were on him if I came back to Vegas. Man, you look like you're rolling hard in Vegas. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I guess you can say that. Nowadays, nowadays, for sure. Nowadays, Can you hear sure. me good? Yeah, I can hear you good. You know, um, okay, cool. flights. I live in Mexico, actually. Merida, Mexico. Um, and uh, pretty cheap flights from Cancun to Vegas. Uh, it's not. A That's problem. what my coach has been telling me. He's been telling me he's from Guatemala, but he's traveled all over the country, and he's been bitching at me to get my passport to come out to Mexico. Dude, and, get it? Yeah, everywhere, man. I, I need to. I need to be traveled. I haven't traveled outside the USA yet, but I need to. Oh, dude. I, well, I've done a lot of that, uh, and I actually live here. I'm a, a resident in Mexico, uh, soon to be citizen here, but that takes a few more years. Uh, unless you marry a Mexicana, then it can be uh, uh, sped up a little bit. Not that I have any ideas or anything like that. But uh, so first off, I do this with, with almost every new guest on the show. Introduce yourself. I went gray there. Is that just me or is that is that you? Uh, that's me okay, I'm back. for being a dumbass. Uh, and I'll fix that. Don't worry. That won't happen again. Go ahead. <laughs> Good. So my name is Trap Daddy Gambino. I'm an internet TV personality, also MMA fighter, looking to get into influencer boxing. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I'm from Las Vegas. Uh, I've been in commercials, movies, TVs, uh, music videos. I do music on the side. Uh, yeah, a little bit of everything. I'm a, I'm a um, judge for lingerie fighting championships. Uh, I wear many hats, but my big ass head fits none of them. You know what I'm saying? I have a huge head as well, <laughs> so I completely understand. Uh, and uh, okay, so how did you get into this game? Uh, w w like with the whole boogie and yeah, uh, yeah. Wings well, and well, just being a streamer a and then that, yeah. So I've never really been like a streamer but i've always had like cameras on me and uh i i wasn't really the, a tech savvy guy but i've always been like on reality tv and stuff like that and reality shows and boogie and wings always uh intrigued me I'll, I'll say as as big guys i always thought it was fucking crazy how like um you can be famous for being a fucking loser nowadays you know what i mean and then the the mike clum documentary came out and that's when I, I started watching the boogie the boogie uh, videos at that time. I wasn't watching it before, like when he was like the fat guy Mountain Dew. I was never a fan yeah. of any of that shit. But when I seen the documentary, I was like, hmm, this could be like an opportunity for me to get in there. And uh, I saw the whole situation with him and Desi, and <laughs> I just thought it was fucking unbelievable, kind of like how everybody else does. And the more I learn, the more unbelievable it fucking seems to me. And you can cuss on this, right? You don't have to believe. No, it or you can anything. say whatever the fuck you want. Give, yeah. Give you extra work or anything. No, so. no, you can say whatever you want. It's live. So, uh, it's live. Unlike Lol Cow Live, this is an actual live program. Uh, and no, so you man, can they say cut out it. so much. No, yeah, dude. Podcast. Oh, we're gonna get to that. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing cut out here. This is totally so, live. Um. So I saw the Desi. I saw the Desi situation and. You know, my, my the gears in my head started rolling. And one of the things that I'm good at is I'm really good at manipulating situations and manipulating people. And that's how I got on to some of these TV shows that I got onto. So I got onto some of these movies. And I feel like that's how I got here. You know what I mean? Manipulation is a fucking... If I was a mage in, like, Skyrim, manipulation <laughs> would be my superpower. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, I followed her on Instagram. I followed Boogie. I started messaging uh, Desi. I started commenting on Boogie's pages. And surprisingly, Desi messaged me back. And then she followed me back. Now, wait, 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 wait. Let me ask you this. Go ahead. Now, you know, uh, I'm in the middle of some familial, former familial situations. I can't really get into all of them because legal and all this. And, uh, you know, I have some connections. I have to say connections instead of other words in the United States. Uh, because, uh, you know, how these hoes go, um, uh, well, you know, how these women go, um, not all hoes. I'm not speaking about anybody specifically, uh, but they, you know, they try to restrict your speech. And so I can't speak uh, uh, about it, um, fully about my situation, but, um, when a woman, 
first off, Snapchat is a, is is like a fuck book basically. Um, mm. Like that's oh, yeah. what, that's what Snapchat, and so is Instagram to a certain degree, but especially Snapchat, uh, it, it's like fuck book, right? Like that's what Snapchat. Yeah, is. for sure. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, so to restart, you you, you met her how? So I I watched the documentary. I follow her on Instagram. I slowly start commenting. She starts commenting on my stuff. I leak into the DMs. It, it kind of, you know, how it starts on every every girl's thing. It starts with likes. Likes yeah, turns yeah. into comments. Comments turns into DMs, and uh, DMs turns into, um, hey, would you want to uh, maybe give me a Snapchat sometimes? And this was posted on the Local Podcast, and she was like, yeah, sure, why not? So she gave me her Snapchat, and then she started snapping me innocent pictures and pic excuse me, pictures of her like hitting the pen and I was snapping her pictures of me hitting the pen. I didn't know what the fuck to snap a young little girl back. <laughs> so I was like snapping pictures of me hitting the pen and shit like that. Like stupid pictures of me in Vegas flexing at the gym. I didn't know what the fuck to send her. But um, it slowly but surely uh, started getting um, more heated, I would say, for sure. Okay, Salvo is going to be on here in five, by the way, and I think business will pick up even more. Okay, so it, it, it started getting heated. Now, how would you describe getting heated? So it started, what, what really surprised me is she started sending me pictures of her in like, just like boogies, t shirt. That was the big, that was the first wait, wait, step. Wait, 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 wait. She was sending ahead. pictures of her wearing nothing but boogies t shirt? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. And this started in Austin, Texas. Now, this is yeah. a bitch that wants to fuck, dude. Like, I'm, I'm just going to be real. Yeah, for, like, oh, for sure. I mean, like, I've been around a long time, and I'm sure me and you could trade some stories. Uh, if a chick sends you a picture of her in just, like, a guy's shirt, uh, nothing else, she wants to fuck. It, it, yeah, for sure. And I was, I was kind of, like, testing my limits with her. So I would send her, like, um, uh, what's an example? So I would send her a picture of me, like, you know, getting, uh, getting coming out the gym, and I'd be like, "Oh, uh, uh, I, I'm trying to look, uh, trying just trying to look sexy today, or something like that, just to test, like, see what she would say, like, oh, you do look sexy today, or you know how, you know how you test girls, and she would send back, like, oh, it's okay, you do look sexy today, and that's when it started, like, oh, okay, I can go a little bit deeper than this, yeah, 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 so you that's, what, what was that? No, I was just saying, you're testing it. You're testing it. That's yeah, how you exactly. do females. So, yeah, 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 you're testing it. Yeah. So one thing that really, really, man, I, I should have, I should have been more patient and went deeper with this, even though it's, it's kind of fuck up. It's kind of fucked up and manipulative. And I'll tell you my goal and and the whole reason I did this to begin with. And this really isn't me. I'm not like a home wrecker or anything like that. A home but, wrecker. Yeah. What a home um, they have. But anyway, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So. um one thing that really really got me is i asked her i said hey would you ever want to take a, like a secret and i worded this a secret vacation to las vegas to visit me she texted back maybe maybe not no not hell no not i'm committed with my, with and, my boyfriend which is what is a good girl should shallow. say i know yeah, way is, no way yeah. sir we're joking around i'm, I'm committed to boogie she said maybe yeah, and this is since we've only been texting since a little bit after the documentary came out. So this is shallow into the relationship, quote unquote. And I felt like if I just if I just went a little bit deeper, if I would have got her phone number as well, and uh, maybe got on call with her a couple times, maybe get her sneak away from Boogie, get on call with her, you know, uh, I could have I could have gone a lot further than this, but I. Uh, I was impatient, man, and I went too hard, too fast with the podcast, not with her. No, not with her, of course. She would love that. But, <laughs> yeah, uh, she was all she was game. <laughs> she was down for it. But uh, I went too hard on Boogie, and I went too hard on the podcast, and I scared him away. When I initially sent that Reddit post, they thought that this was all just some fucking clout chaser. They didn't know that I've already been on fucking movies and TVs and shit. I don't need fucking clout or anything like that. It'd be nice to get a fight with Boogie because uh, I've been looking for a good fight. Because you beat the shit out of him, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, just to fight somebody easy on a big stage for big money, why not? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I felt like that was the fastest path to get there instead of fighting these fucking 
big, strong fucking guys in Las Vegas until I finally get a name for myself. I'd rather fucking climb, jump the ladder and, and fight Boogie on a big stage. So that was my goal, man. And um, yeah, I, I fucked that up, I guess. I scared them away. When they, when they introduced me on the podcast, they thought that this was just some guy trying to get clout, that it wasn't real. And I think that once they found out that it was real, they felt bad for ever having me on and they kind of tried to shut that whole thing fucking down. Now, what was the process of getting on the podcast? By the way, their podcast started out with 250,000 views, which is good. Uh, I mean, I'll be the first to admit. Salvo's here, and I'm going to introduce him here in a second. Let me change the layout so we can get it to, to spotlight here. Um, but, you know, that, that that's great. That's a great debut, 250K. I mean, fuck, uh, that's great for a podcast. Now it's down at, like, I don't know, 30K or some shit, uh, which is still, you know, if, if that – was where you started off at that's great but obviously there's been a drop in quality uh or people would still be t tuning in right uh that's kind of why i uh, came in at that time you know i was trying to pump pump it up a little bit <laughs> but uh, i don't think the fans liked me too much yeah um now salvo are you here sir or can we hear you Salvo will be here. I see him. He's getting his mic set up. He's getting his mic set up. Salvo will be here. Um, so what happened, uh, and I'll, I'll continue while we work on the tech issues with Salvo, but, and it seems like he's speaking, but I can't hear him. Um, so Salvo, if you press those three dots down at the bottom and change your mic, I, th I think it'll work. Can you hear me? Okay, he's left. He's gonna join on his on his better account. But um, so how did you get on in the first place? I literally made a Reddit post. A Reddit. I I don't have a Reddit account or anything. I'm not very tech savvy. So I made a Reddit account, um, and made a post saying, just with a clickbait title saying Desi is cheating on, but kind of clickbait saying Desi is cheating on Boogie. And then I, I, I posted the screenshots for proof. And I said, uh, let me get on the Locale podcast to tell my side. The next day, as I'm sleeping, uh, I get a bunch of texts and shit. And I didn't think it was from them because it was from some Z Zach from PKA uh, was was messaging me. And I didn't, I don't, I'm out the loop with any of this. I didn't hey, know hey, who's hey. the producer of PKA. Yeah. So, um, I, I ignored that, and then I went to the gym, and then I seen that Keemstar tweeted me. Uh, so I, I was like, oh, shit. I, I rushed home and jumped on the podcast with, like, a whole, the, whole, the worst internet ever. But, yeah, it was it was easy. I just made a Reddit post and got on the next day. The very next day. Now, describe how your appearance went before we go into what they cut out. So uh, as soon as I got on, I had, I had this fucking – I had this set up and shit. I, I got this whole setup over here and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with it. So it was like glitching out. I'm on my phone right now, but I was on my computer and Keemstar was just bitching at me for like five minutes to fix everything, which was pretty hilarious. And it kind of set up the whole uh, premise of me not being too tech savvy with all this. And uh, after that, we kind of went into... Um, you know, Boogie just uh, being really defensive and being really, um, I don't know, uh, I guess not wanting to believe what the fuck he was hearing. And uh, I'm trying to think of what important things they cut out. But they did, it's hard It's hard because I'm not a member and I didn't watch it afterwards. And they, they posted it and then put it up as like uh, members only right afterwards. And uh, But yeah, why. it was like a two hour, two hour live. And they cut it down to like 45 minutes. So that was interesting. So what sort of things did they cut out of the over two hour appearance uh, that they cut down to 50? You know, it's, it's hard to remember, to be honest, because like I said, I only did it live and I wasn't able to see afterwards what they, what they posted right afterwards. But, um, you know, it's just interesting. They they did cut out uh, basically playing me up as uh, the guy who's really talking to Desi. 
So they did, they, they cut out part of my wife's conversation. Um, she was talking about how it's obvious that Desi and me got sexual in the conversations because Desi was sending me pictures of her and her little, uh, like her cut off, um, her cut off t-shirts and stuff like that. And like showing her legs and stuff. And my wife, I mean, would, that's obviously like, sexual. Her, yeah. I'd send her pictures, uh, uh, me and my wife back, uh, like my wife and her thong and stuff. So I was, I was baiting. I was waiting for those thong pictures and I know they were coming soon. And <laughs> I just wasn't. I just pulled the trigger a little too fast. I know how it goes. Yes. I know how it goes. Salvo, can you hear me? Salvo. I can see him. I can see him, but I can't hear him. What's up with the mic, Salvo? God, we, we doesn't really... look like he can hear you. It looks like can he he should be able to hear me. Um let's see. Um I see him in the call, but I can't hear him. Uh is the only problem. Um and we'll get that fixed uh somehow. But um yeah, I mean it's pretty obvious she's being sexual. I mean that, that's what we're yeah, gonna like, do. Yeah, like when I when I say sexual, I don't mean like we were actually like sexual. No, no, no. Yeah. But I mean she she was getting we were ready for that. sending yeah, like yeah, flirty yeah, pictures, yeah. and we were sending flirty pictures back. Something that she would not want Boogie to see. That is one hundred percent sure. And she was sending me, like she was like complaining about Boogie. Like she was like talk. I forgot to mention that they did cut out. They did cut out this on the live. So she was complaining that Boogie was like taking her around to fucking do Pokemon Go in Texas. When they're in Austin, Texas, they're on like vacation and shit and they're doing like some fun shit to uh, film content. Meanwhile, they're fucking on the street like at like one in the morning, some shit doing Pokemon Go. Because I asked her like, what was she doing? She was like Pokemon Go with like a bored face and shit. And then she was like texting me like, I wish Boogie smoked weed. And I smoke hella weed, so I'm like, there's my fucking, you know, there's my shot right there. And uh, yeah, man, it was it was getting interesting. I just pulled the fucking trigger too soon, like you said. I blew my wad, as they do in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> you blew your wad. By the way, I see Salvo, and he says, I can't hear you. I don't know what's going on. Kick me from call for now. What the fuck? Okay, so I'll kick him. Let's see, um, and then just just rejoin Salvo. Um, and if we need to do something else, we we can do something else. Um, Zoom, whatever. Because I really did want Salvo in on this because I he knows more about this. He used to be Keemstar's partner. I don't know if you know this or not. Um, no, I didn't. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm so out the loop, man. And uh, another another thing that they missed. I feel like a missed opportunity from this is I'm supposed to, I guess I'm not enough of a fucking loser to be a low cow, but uh, that's what I was supposed to be. That's why I was on the Dr. Phil show. You know what I mean? I was brought on to the Dr. Phil show to be made fun of and all that fucking shit. So I figured I'd fit in right in with these goofy motherfuckers, but um, he kind of missed the whole concept. He thought I was just, I think Keemstar thought I was just like some fucking random Reddit guy <laughs> that came on the show. But uh, yeah, they they missed that opportunity, man. There's a story behind that, but they weren't catching on to it. Well, tell us the story behind it. So, uh, ever since I got on the Doctor Phil show, I've been wanting to be an uh, influencer boxer, and obviously, I've seen the the wings versus uh, Boogie fight, Trash. and I'm like, I'm I'm 370 pounds, so I figured I'm perfect for these guys. You know what I mean? Uh, um, a locale on Dr. Phil versus one of these locales. But again, like I said, I guess I'm not a fucking loser enough to be considered a locale. I think that's what the actual problem is here is I need to, um, you know, I, I, all the, I've done, I was telling my wife, I've done commercials, TVs, movies, all that shit. It doesn't mean anything in this community. I'd be better off getting kicked out of like a Kmart or a Golden Corral or some shit like that. I'd have more clout having that happen to me than actually putting in work and effort. So yeah, I think I'm just fucking around in the wrong community, not knowing what I'm doing, to be honest, man. <laughs> All right. Now, um, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to get Salvo's things, uh, fixed here. 
Uh, he had a bunch of leaks from Keemstar and Boogie and all these faggots last night. Uh, and uh, basically, they were lamenting uh, about how their show is going down the shutter. Um, I don't know if you saw any of that, but... Um, you know what's crazy is I was reading the Reddit post and I was reading the comments on Twitter and uh, everybody was just... I wish I knew. I wish I fucking would have filmed the live myself. I wish I would have screen recorded it because everybody loved the live. Everybody said I looked great on the live. I came off across well on the live that they believed me and shit. And then when the fucking so I told my wife, I was like, man, I made it. I was good representing myself. Uh, everybody loved me. The fans love me. And they fucking hate everybody. They're fucking locale like fans. So they hate everybody and they actually like me. That's fucking crazy. And then the show comes out. And then they fucking hate me. And it's like everybody turns and everything's opposite. So I don't know what the fuck happened, man. I don't know exactly what they cut out. But the way they cut it obviously made me look like a jackass. <laughs> okay, so Savo said he's trying to get into the Google Meet. Uh, can he not get in? Uh, let's see. I, we're doing this live. This is not uh, the Law Cow fake cast. Uh, this is a live program. And so sometimes tech issues like this happen on the kill stream. Hey, man, I feel it. So, That's cool. So, um, we're, we're assuming we can get him in. Um, okay. Now let's see here. Um, oh, that was horrible. So he, he should be able, let's see. Um, he should be able to get in. Um, l let me do this. Can you um, just join another link? Who, me? Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. All right. I'll end this link, and I'll start a new one. I'll send, I'll send one to you both. Okay, cool. All right, cool. All right. Okay. Uh, man, we really are working overtime on the tech today. All right, let's see. New meeting. Start instant meeting. Okay, um, I'll block this out. Okay, let's see. New link. New link. Would they not even let me? They won't even let me send that. What the fuck? Okay. All right, so so we'll see. So that's the new link. I, I know that this is frustrating, but uh, you know it's 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 live. I would say live television, but it's not. Um, uh, okay, now let's see. All right, so now see tra traps already here, um, and you can see me now. Um, I I'm trying to get him in here because, like, he knows like almost everything there is to know about Keemstar and Boogie and Wings and all these faggots, uh, and so that's kind of why I really want to get him in here. Man, you can even say the f word on this show, huh? Oh yeah, you can say that. Let's you can go. say faggot. You can say whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is not. This is not. Uh, this is not YouTube. Um. So, let's see. He said. He said, "Can he not get in?" Well, I sent him a new link. He's live right now, so his tech issues are fixed. Well, I sent him a new link, and, you know, if we can't get it fixed, I can only do so much. Like, I, I did start a whole new link, which I usually don't like to do that. But um, how much contact have you had with Desi since this? He has totally blocked me from everything. <laughs> I've tried to, to get her contact. But, you know, it's funny. Is as soon as she blocked me, Boogie's Snapchat came up on my recommendations. <laughs> so I did request him, but he blocked me too. So <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, of course he did. Of course he did. Uh, <laughs> now, again, we're trying to get him in here. We'll see if we can get Salvo in here. But um, I'm, I'm trying to but, think. Um, Go ahead. I was going to say, I will tell you, um, somebody did contact me after that show, and it wasn't Desi. It was Boogie. So after the show, Boogie messaged me on Instagram 
and I can send you these screenshots so you know I'm not bullshitting. Yeah, please do. Fucking basically desperately begging me to tell him exactly what happened between him and Desi so he could quote unquote I just need to trust her, bro. <laughs> like, oh, no. He's got her on a leash? Oh, Dude, no. Dude, it was the most pathetic. And then he fucking, like, spam calling me, right? And I'm, like, making up excuses, and I answer the phone because I don't want to – I want – I want – I don't want anything I can't screenshot. You know what I mean? From now on, especially how the podcast went, I want proof yeah. of everything. I should have yeah. screenshot more of Desi and shit, and I didn't. And um, so uh, he's messaging me, and I'm like, "Here's my number." So I got he 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 gave me his number, and uh, we started texting, and it's the same shit. He's just like begging me and like trying to cope with exactly what was happening. He was like, "Well, uh." I went through her I went through her phone and she did admit that she did say maybe she would come to Vegas, but she only said that because she was nervous and didn't really know what to say at the time. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, bro, like she's just she's feeding you, you know what I'm saying? And uh also uh she did admit to calling you guys sexy, but she was just uh trying to be nice and uh she was just saying it back because you said it and like I was just like, man. Like this fucking guy is just coping with every okay, everything. So, uh, okay, so wait, now let me listen to this for a sec. Chicken and rice. Okay, kick so, app is shorting out. This is so this is so shitty. I fucking hate kick. This is terrible. I love McDonald's. I love McDonald's, Bridget. I fucking love McDonald's. Okay, I'm asking to join again. Okay, okay ask I'm gonna to wait join. till my 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 ask. stuff here kind of calibrates, because it kind of has to catch up. Salvo, what's your life path? And Nicholas J. Fuentes is in chat. I'll just be dancing Nicholas. in the background. My to life keep the audience path. What does that mean? What's shit. my life path? I there it is. Anything today. <laughs> there it is. Okay, okay. So okay. Are oh, you man, I'm glad to hear Salvo. I was going to start twerking. Salvo, are you in? No. Right. Oh, there he goes. Salvo, well. are you there? God damn it. Why? Uh, let's see. Fuck, I'll just add him as a co-host. Salvo, are you there? Why can't I hear him? I don't understand. Dude, you got to change your mic, dude. Why is this working? What the fuck? You guys see what I'm working with here? Why dude, look. Go to the three dot dots. Change your mic. Now you have yourself muted. I didn't do that. Um, funny to hear an argument in silence <laughs> yeah yeah we'll figure it out we'll figure it out we got all the time in the world don't worry about he's it. like new hampshire primary is not till later anyway so um <laughs> okay so like you're in but we can't hear you and we've used you here let's see uh okay let's see let's so he's muted. I didn't mute him. It's still more entertaining than the locale podcast. <laughs> yeah, it's still better. Even this. <laughs> even this is better. Okay, now Salvo, can you hear me? Oh Lord, why isn't this working? I'm gonna kill myself. God, I want this so bad. Salvo. I'm gonna kill myself. No, Salvo, I'm doing don't. It live on the kill stream. No, Salvo, don't. Can you hear me? Unmute yourself. I'm killing myself live on the kill stream. What unmute is going on? Unmute yourself. Somebody tell him to unmute himself. He's got himself muted. <laughs> oh, it's loading. It's it's slowly loading. Draw. Hold on. It's slowly loading. <laughs> Hold up like a piece of paper. Oh, he can't see me, can he? I, I see. I'm banned from kick for a week on some bullshit, so I can't actually like communicate <laughs> with him. Uh, directly. Salvo, you're muted. I see the red button. Salvo. Salvo. What? Can he see me? Yeah, yeah, I think so. On mute. Can you see my mic? Okay. This shit's muted, bro. There okay, we go. Okay. Let's start a show. <laughs> Like, I can see it on his screen. It has his thing muted. Oh, my God. <sighs> okay. 
I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to take a, not actually take a chill sure. pill, which I normally would. Uh, Salvo. Okay. Now you're unmuted. Now we still can't hear you. I'm presuming you can hear me. Let's see. Can you, can you hear me? I'm presuming you can hear me. Okay, now Salvo, listen to me. I can hear me. you now, Mr. Like, Ralph. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Go to the can, three dots. Can you hear me? I hear you now, three Mr. Dots. Ralph. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, now Salvo, listen yeah, to me. Like you. Go to the three dots. Go, Go to, to the, the three dots. Yes. Now go to the audio. Go to the settings. Yes. Now go to the audio and change it's your hooked. microphone to it one looks that works. Good. It looks kosher. But we can't fucking hear you. And change your microphone to one that works. Testing. 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 But we can't fucking hear you. What the fuck? Just change it to system default or, or like whatever it takes. Like, Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Uh, I can hear you on your stream. Can you hear me now? No. Yeah. It's it's not even moving hear, on our end. Can you hear me now? Can you uh, hear me now? No. Can you hear me now? <laughs> can you hear me now? <laughs> now I can't hear you. Why are we at, why are you on Google Hangouts? God damn it. Why are you on Google Hangouts? <laughs> I can't hear you. Okay, what can do you, you want to use me? instead? I can't hear you now. <laughs> How come I can't hear you? I don't Can fucking hear know. Me? The old handy okay, iPhone. Okay, am I going see. crazy? Am I going Salvo. clinically insane? Salvo, like I've never had this problem ever, and I've had a lot of tech problems on this show. Um, okay, so um, if you if you change your audio um your, t to the right microphone, you should be able because your microphone is not showing as moving at all. Um, that's the only problem. Um, maybe that, join. You need to stop using yes, your camera Salvo. and mic for your. Sh oh, that is so retarded. That is so. Oh, I Salvo, something. I told you, brother. Why is that a thing? So I, so I. No, I don't. Stream hear. when I'm on Google Hangouts. Oh wait, wait, I wait. see, I see his mic moving. I see Why your the mic fuck? moving, but I, I didn't, see, I don't, I don't hear you. Okay. Here, I'm gonna do this. Hold on, Ethan. Oh, he's gonna okay. read. He's gonna rejoin. How yeah, retarded! Gotcha. How it is retarded. retarded! I agree, it's retarded. Uh -huh. Oh man, is technology work? The How way mental? Supposed this to? is still but that's more not entertaining. True he's, than... he's streaming. Okay. Oh my god, this is so mental. His 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 chat is so mad at me. It's like the Howard Stern show before all the celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> his chat is so mad at me right now. They're yeah, calling like me cringe. Juice and shit. Why is his chat calling me cringe? <laughs> no, Salvo, they love this me. Is Just join back. I'm not fucking with you. No, he's not. He's His chat thinks I'm problems. fucking with him. Ethan's going to get mad at me and call me names. I'm no, not fucking with him. <laughs> no, I don't think he is. I think he wants to. I don't know how guy. to work a computer. I generally have no idea what I'm doing with computers. Okay, Salvo. No just idea. Rejoin because we saw Hold your on. mic move for a sec. Hold on. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm working around it. All right. God damn it. I'll give you my phone number and fucking let you hold up the goddamn phone if that's what it takes. I'm working around it right now. Hold on. This okay. is mentally challenged. This is so retarded. Why is he on Google Hangouts? I'm so confused. Because I pay these cocksuckers already. That's why. Okay. Okay. Salvo. Hey, buddy. Can you hear me now? Yeah! <laughs> Hey, buddy, can you hear me now? Yes! I can hear you now, brother. How's it going? Mr. Ralph, how are you doing, big guy? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm still Mr. a big Ralph, guy. Mr. Ralph, how are you doing, big guy? I'm doing a, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I got Nikki Haley up here big over guy, on the side bro. screen, you know, getting ready I'm to doing, crank I'm one doing out, great. you know. I'm doing great. Doing great, doing great. Now let me. Side screen, you know, getting ready to crank also, one out, you there's know. there's an doing echo great, too. Hold on, wait, wait. Now there's an me... echo. Oh, 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 oh. I see why. I fixed the echo. I fixed the echo. I fixed the echo. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm doing great. Uh, your angle is, is not necessarily the best. Uh, but we see you. We hear you. You're talking to Trap Daddy, Trap Gambino here. Uh, Yo. Now. Uh, let me let you take it over for a second, because goddamn, that was really stressful, actually, <laughs> for a live show host. Um, 
What are your questions? Well, can I ask you a question first, Me? Mr. Ralph? Sure. Were you actually jerking to Nikki Haley? No. You weren't? No. I I wouldn't give a fuck if you were. You know what I mean? No, I mean, it's well, like, I mean, my dick's all over the internet with a thumb up some bitch's ass. I mean, I, I don't really think that would be the most embarrassing thing uh, to come I'm out glad if I'm I was jerking it to, 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 to Nikki Haley. But no, I was not jerking off to Nikki Haley. I think uh, she's a pretty girl, and, like, I would understand. Anyways, okay, so that was my question. So, Trap, <laughs> so Trap Gambino, let me ask you this. Yes, sir. You, we're, okay, so it's like, just so I have an understanding of, of, of who you are, you, you're the person that has been talking to Boogie's girlfriend, correct? Yeah, yeah, that is me. Okay, and I like to operate in a space of – truth and non-irony and and uh and realism so are you being serious like like this isn't like a bit or anything no this isn't a bit this was uh kind of a bit on my end like it wasn't like my intentions weren't to like get with her or anything like that i had kind of different intentions behind it no but this is 100 percent real uh i was manipulating desi behind the scenes and she was close to cheating on boogie Okay, so let me just uh, give my chat some background here. I'm on the kill stream with uh, Ethan Ralph and Trap Gambino. Trap Gambino came out with his story that he has been talking to Boogie's girlfriend, Desi, behind the scenes. So, so Trap Gambino, what were the conversations like with Desi and like how, how did that start? So, uh, like I was telling Ralph, um, it all, uh, uh, or Ethan Ralph, uh, or, or not That's Ethan fine. Ralph, Call me Ralph, Ralph, brother. Most people do. Yeah, Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um, anyways. Um, also, so, like dicks out for Nikki Haley like, right now. Anyway, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> it all started with, like, you know, um, you start with the likes. The likes turn into comments. Top comments turn into messages. Uh, messages turn into, like, hey, can I get your Snapchat? And uh, then we started going into each other's Snapchat, and she started showing me like some behind the scenes of like her and uh, her and Boogie out in car rides, filming and stuff like that. Them going to Austin, and um, I started testing my limits with the whole Snapchat thing. So I started snapping her, um, you know, pictures of me uh, like baiting her to call me sexy and stuff like that. And then uh, she would fall for it. She ended up calling me sexy, and then. I'd uh, snap her pictures of like me with my wife in the back and my wife, you know, got a thong showing or something like that. And then Desi would send me pictures of her with her legs showing. And, um, you know, the, the pictures just got a little bit more spicy and spicier. And, uh, yeah, I felt like um, if I if I would have just kept it up, it would have gotten uh, a lot deeper. But unfortunately, <laughs> I did not do that. Why didn't you uh, keep it up? I'm just curious. So I, when I was watching the last uh, the podcast before I came on, um, they were talking about how they got three shows left. And my whole goal in this was to get Boogie mad enough at me to fight me. I'm a 370-pound guy. Um, I figured this was, like, the easiest fight on the big stage for me. If I could actually make this happen, if I could somehow fucking make a miracle, make this happen – uh, this is the biggest stage, the biggest money, and the easiest fight for me. So I, I, I took that route, and um, I, I pulled the trigger because I heard it, them talking about how they might have, like, three shows left. And that made me worry, like, you know, if I don't do this now, then I might lose my opportunity. And unfortunately, I didn't screenshot any of the, the snaps or anything like that because – they they tell the other people that you screenshot it and i should have my wife like you, you gotta do another inside. phone yeah that's an old trick. yeah yeah i should have definitely phone. did yeah, that yeah, yeah. yeah but, me um, and salvo I, know that trick yeah yeah yeah, yeah I <laughs> just enough just enough to show that it was actually happening but um yeah, yeah, not the yeah, good no spicy thing <laughs> so so trap uh gambino do you think like you could have end up like fucking her if I wanted to, 1,000% yes. If I would have kept this up, 1,000% yes. But first of all, I don't even, I didn't even want to do this to begin with. Um, one of the motivations to do this is because I really don't feel like she belongs with Boogie. I think it's a weird fucking situation to begin with. And I wanted to see if I could, you know, throw a wrench in there. 
and uh, get some popularity off it at the same time and get a fight. And uh, it's just the whole situation was weird to me. And I would even like even when I was snapping her, like I felt awkward, like I was Snapchatting a little girl, like I was manipulating a little girl because essentially I was. <laughs> yeah, did I mean? part like, of that. Yeah, man. Did part of that kind of like feel like hot to you? Uh, no, it felt bad. To be honest, I felt horrible pretty much the entire time. And the fact that it's over makes me feel a lot better. I don't like hurting people. Uh, I might look like well, some, I do. Yeah, I might look, look like some <laughs> bad, bad guy online. But deep down, I'm a really I'm a loving guy. And I felt I still feel really bad for what I did to her. But I felt like it was worth it to get what I wanted for myself and my family and my situation. So yeah, I, totally, I took... totally. So so it's like, what do you think about Boogie's response uh, to the podcast where he kind of was like uh, denying it and uh, kind of so acting on the podcast? Boogie's fake as fuck. He's completely playing a character. He even texts me that like, oh man, I'm going to play it up a little bit, blah, blah, blah. He's fucking two faces as hell in his text behind the scenes. And then when the podcast is over, like I was telling homeboy, he was literally telling me, like, man, uh, tell me what happened between you and Desi. Please tell now, me exactly what happened. By the way, you tell happened. me you have screenshots of this, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll Will send you send those to, to me? As soon as the podcast is over. <laughs> as soon as the podcast is over, we want those screenshots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I got you. Yeah, you can post that shit all over Twitter. So, oh, I so, oh, I will. He's, he's texting me. He's also telling me, like, oh, it's okay now that uh, since, uh, since she did this with you, now I can follow back the girls that I unfollowed initially when I got with her on, on Instagram. Like, weird shit like that. Like, shit that I don't give a fuck about. Telling me that, uh oh, she did say that you were sexy, but she was only saying that to say that, you know, to be nice. And she did say that maybe she would go to uh, Las Vegas on a secret vacation with you. But she was only saying that to be nice and because she was nervous. It's like... Man, whatever, bro. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, that sounds just like fucking uh, cope there. Coping, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah I know so about I feel coping, like, trust me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like Boogie should, like, just let that young girl kind of, like, have free range, like, sexually. You know what I mean? It's It's kind of, like, evil for Boogie to, like, not let that young lady kind of have her fun. You know what I mean? You know, it's like, it's Boogie, bro. Yeah, and, like, I don't want to be... <laughs> I don't want to be too detailed and I don't want to be too gross here, but when me and my wife found out that Boogie took her virginity, Jesus we just Christ. fucking looked at each other like, oh, God, bro. That yeah. is just, it, there's, so, there's so many things wrong with this entire situation. And like, fuck, dude, like, he, he's like her first boyfriend. And he's like a 50 year old. Dude, like he can barely walk. He, he, I just watched his video talking about he's on a fucking walker now again, and it's just it's weird as hell, man. And I was Snapchatting there, like, <laughs> like takes to me like it, on the strip in Vegas, like this could be us. Like you could be in these fucking jacuzzi suites with me and my girl, and we could be partying in the fucking suites in Vegas and shit. And, like I'm sure that lifestyle seemed a lot more appealing to her than fucking Been living in <laughs> Northwest <laughs> Arkansas. <laughs> Yeah, Arkansas, yeah. <laughs> or Oklahoma. Oh, that's too. West are. Memphis native here. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm from Ohio, so. Well, Wait, I was well, born well, in no, Memphis, dude, but I lived Ohio in West too. Memphis. Yeah. Oh, Hold really? On. I'm from Ohio, too. That's what part right, of Ohio? Cleveland. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. So he knows where I'm from, then. So I'm from Worcester, Ohio, which oh, is back. like uh, yeah. 45 minutes south of Cleveland. Yeah, I'm from I'm from Westlake. So it's like I know that well. Yeah, dude. Yeah, we're definitely in the same uh, area for sure. Cleveland, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Cleveland, boys, <laughs> small kind world. Of. So it's like, uh, do you and your wife are you guys swingers or something? No, we're not swingers, but we uh, we do like we Google at other girls and shit like that together, and like, um, you know, we brought a stripper home back once upon a time, one time, and like. You know, we'll go to strip clubs and check out chicks and shit together. But no, we're not swingers or anything like that. Um, no, we just like to have fun. We're flirting. Right on. <laughs> How about, so you mentioned uh, girls. You ever, like, mentioned guys? Like, are you into guys having sex with your wife? Oh, hell no. No, hell, hell no. no. 
no, <laughs> no, definitely not. But she knows that uh, not only is like we're we're both attracted to girls, but um, girls um, sex sells with girls. So a lot of my pictures are like me with models and stuff like that. She's totally cool with that. Sometimes she sets it up. So yeah, uh, girls are just part of the. I don't want to. I don't want to sound bad and say girls is part of the business, but girls is part of the lifestyle here and uh, what what I do. Nice. I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How yeah, often do you have sex? Is, How often do you have know. sex with your wife? Oh man, um, <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't expecting that question. <laughs> at, least, at least twice a week. I don't know. At least twice, twice a, a week. week. That's it. At least, yeah. Why are you not like so? What is getting in the way of you having sex with her every day? Well, first off, uh, she's uh, she's got a heart condition, so that <laughs> that might have something to play with it. And uh, she, believe it or not, she used to be a professional fighter, but now she's uh, she's got a terminal illness, so um, oh, I do. slowed her down a lot. Oh, okay, okay. She has a terminal is she, illness. Is she okay? Yeah. Is she gonna? You know, it's. It's like terminal I mean, means it's going to be there forever. Like, is there any terminal? Yeah, it, it's it's terminal and it's um, it's a deteriorating illness. So, um, essentially, no. The answer is no. But um, she's still a bad bitch. She's the strongest woman I know. And um, yeah, man, she's got a, a condition called pulmonary hypertension, which basically means uh, heart failure. And uh, right now she's living with a tube hanging out of her chest that's continuously pumping medications, life-sustaining medication yeah. into her chest, which is, um, so this is kind of the whole reason behind, the secret reason, I didn't want to mention this, but since you kind of pulled it out of me, um, the reason behind all this is uh, so I could raise money for her uh, for this. So that's uh, that's why I was going so hard on these guys. Gotcha. Okay, so it's like, you know, if Boogie actually cared about being a good guy, he might kind of want to fight you. And it's like, it's kind of cuckening for Boogie to, to like, have a guy, like, op his girlfriend into cheating on him. And then for him to be like, I don't want to fight you. You know what I mean? It's like, if I got op like that by some fucking dude, I would fly to his state and I would shoot him a hundred million times and then fuck the bullet holes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But I get it. Like, I think he knows that, like, he, I think everybody knows that like my, my whole goal was just to get to fight. And because I made it so fucking obvious and because I didn't go hard enough, it just came across as like kind of corny and like kind of try hard. And because nobody knew that I am already like an actor and entertainer and I have money and I, I have clout and followers already. And they thought I was just some fucking random that just wanted. So you have clout. clout. So you have clout and you're in stuff. What are you in? Uh, I do a bunch of crazy stuff, man. So I'm a, I'm a TV personality. Uh, I'm a judge for the lingerie fighting championships, which is I the saw next that. big event. I saw out. that on your tweet. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, man. I'm a, I, I'm, I do like pro wrestling stuff, all kinds of random stuff. I do music. Um, but right now I'm, I really would like to go into influencer boxing. I had an influencer boxing bout set up. Uh, unfortunately that, uh, fell through. So I'm going gotcha. to get, gotcha. get it back. Gotcha. So for so for the people joining my chat, we are talking to Trap Gambino, uh, who he is the guy that got Boogie's girlfriend to basically cheat on Boogie, and he you know he's here on the kill stream uh, with me and Ethan Ralph talking about it. So so Trap Gambino, like like you mentioned, you have sex with your wife twice a week. Like what is she the best at? when it comes to sex you are the worst you're really going that's full a great question right yeah, that's a hard one. <laughs> i love it go ahead i don't know i don't know because i'm i'm the type that i kind of take control so she doesn't really you know do much even when she's on top i'm i i like to take i'm an alpha guy in the bedroom so i like to take control to be honest she can just be there and that's good enough for me she's got a real fat ass so that's my favorite <laughs> okay okay and do you like lick her butthole ever no no no, hell no, no. no i'll stay away from why that. not why don't you yeah. lick her butthole like I'm i've so never crazy. been i've never been turned on enough to do that i've yeah, been but turned on enough to yeah, try but, anal that's about it yeah but here's the thing bro it's like it's like you don't it's 
the act of licking a butthole is not going to trigger your emotions of being turned on. But if you're turned on during sex, it's like you should be reaching some sort of animalistic level where you do yeah. eventually just have her I, bent over. I get you that. You have her bent over. You mentioned she's got a fat ass, so I imagine that yeah. you're in that shit doggy style, right? So it's like yeah. next time she's bent over, fucking spit on that vagina and, and look can't. Her I can't do it, man. I don't want to get a... Uh... Dude, I think what happened to me uh, when I was a teenager kind of like um, it kind of scarred me. So I was I was uh, I was with this one girl and uh, she was like um, she just came over after school and I was like, let me eat it. And she was like, no, I, I need the shower. It, it stinks. And I was like, I don't give a fuck. I was so turned on. You know what I'm saying? I was like, it's just come on. Just let me, you know, and she did. And I regretted it. Are we talking about <laughs> like, your ass? Are we talking pussy your ass? It was, it was pussy, but like I just uh, wait a just, minute. No. Hold on, hold 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 on a minute. Wait a minute. You were scarred from eating pussy so much that you stopped eating pussy. I, for the most part, yeah, I still do it every now and then. But yeah. Whoa, so, dude, so, how old are you? <laughs> well, some bitches are really like <laughs> insecure. They're like, oh, I want pussy things. You know, it's like, uh, no, it doesn't really. Just let me eat your pussy, like. Yeah, right. I do it and that's now, for sure. dude, dude, Ethan. It's like that's the thing. It's like. When you know what I'm talking about, though, Salvo, right? They're like, oh, my pussy's not clean. Oh, oh, I haven't showered yeah. in three hours. I'm just like, fucking get your ass in the bed and let me lick that pussy. Like, what dude, the fuck I, are you talking dude, about? Dude, that's I, what I told I, that one girl and I regret I, it. Are you on my so. side on that, Salvo? Like, that's yes. me, like Ethan, Ethan, I totally agree. And it's like some stench to that shit. One, doesn't bother me. And two, it kind of makes not. it hotter. You know? Yeah. I want some stench. I want some yeah. stench. I want also stench. a trick to it if it's too bad. You just put no, your, it's too you bad. It's too right bad. Here. No, no, no. Right. Are you doing it? Right, it's right. like you don't want it. You don't want it smelling like it's rotten or no, some fucking. No, no, no. You know, no, 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 no. <laughs> but just natural. The natural scent. scent. The musk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hot. That's. It's meant to be that way. That's how it was designed. I can't by believe. Biology. I can't believe this guy. I'm talking to a grown man who like is scarred from eating pussy, where he doesn't eat pussy in his life. How many times do you think you've eaten pussy? Uh, I could probably say maybe about. A hundred tops. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, dude, not a lot. Dude, I'll tell you this. Every single time I have sexual intercourse, I'm eating the pussy Me for too. 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> He's preheating that oven. Yeah. I'm preheating that oven, dude. I actually it's get like angry if they try to stop me from eating the pussy. Like, I'm like, uh, you know, like, what the fuck? Like, no, no, no. I no, know. No. Dude, Literally, I I'm face. dead serious, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I want my fucking beard smelling like that shit for a week. I want you know that what shit I mean? just soaked, soaked in. It's like it's like a perfume spray on my face. Like I want the pussy smell on my face. Like that that's <laughs> that's what I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I want that too. So so Trap Gambino, someone is in my chat asking asking me to ask you about the fight that you backed down from. So they're asking me about the fight that they're specifically talking about is a fight that I had booked. Um, it was the fight right after my daughter passed away. So um, I didn't back out of that fight. The commission actually pulled me from the fight. Um, the night before the fight, somebody reported that I was walking around the hotel with alcohol in my hand and my eyes were teary and shit like that. The alcohol thing was bullshit. I was crying um, because I was just emotional. I was happy to be there. I was alone, first of all. I came from Las Vegas to Florida. The, this was my first time being alone after my daughter passed. So it was like I had these thoughts in I'm my head and stuff. Really. Um, thank you. Thank you. And um, so I was just like, I was really wanting to do this for her, man. And I was really, I was, I was happy and sad at the same time. So I was really emotional and yes, I was crying and uh, they had reports of that. And I had glasses on when I came into the commission to uh, get checked out by the doctor. And he told me to take my glasses off. And I was like, do I have to? And he was like, yeah. And I took them off and my eyes were water. And he was like, um, I want you to go back to the fighter hotel take a shower, eat, come back, and let's see how you're feeling. Just because I want to see how you are mentally. I know you're fine physically, but let's see how you are mentally. So I went to the fighter hotel, which was right across the street. Eight came back, and they had, like, a bunch of people <laughs> around, like a fucking intervention, including the commissioner, or the commissioner, the commission, um, the doctor, 
uh, my one of my uh, sponsors and uh, the promoter, and they basically told me like, look, man, you can come and watch the fights tonight, but you're not fighting tonight, and I think it's too soon for you to fight tonight, and this is why. And they pulled me from the fight, and I've been telling everybody who's messaging me that that you can message the promotion uh, and ask them, and you can message IF. I think it's IFC uh, uh, something. Anyways, you can message the commission too and ask them. Uh, yeah, man, they pulled me from the fight. I've never, I've never pulled from a fight other than when, yeah, that happened. Wow. So, what do you think about feet? It's like you don't like eating pussy. You don't like to spit on the butthole. That was a you're hell of a segue, man. <laughs> you're only having you're only having sex twice a week. Honest opinions <laughs> about feet. Oh man, I'm not a foot guy, but you know what? I have made money. But you know what turns feet. on a woman is if you you're fucking her, she's laying on the bed, and then you start sucking on her toes, and you start just going. Nah, all nah, on my the wife feet. does have some sexy feet. Oh, but I'm not dude, feet. I oh, like dude, the pussy just feet. starts getting sucked. Are you kidding me? Like, I mean, if the feet's clean, don't get me wrong. I don't want any. Gambino, Gambino, yeah, yeah. you said your wife has pretty feet. How so? Uh, I don't know. I just, um, they're just small. And, and powerful she's made she's choked people out and won gold medals with her feet so i think that alone is pretty sexy <laughs> okay okay uh so it's like i i am a self-admitted foot guy i do i do have a genuine and active foot fetish <laughs> that i i do but but it, um it's uh it's uh it's it's not all feet right it's not it's not all feet uh, some feet are ugly. However, some feet are the most beautiful thing on a woman. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sure. yeah. So it's it, so it's like <laughs> I like small feet mm. with symmetrical toes, mm. right? And they're soft. Um, and that's I don't what, like. That's what I hear. It's all about the curve, right? It's all about the curve and all yes. about the soft. Yes. And I don't like I don't like long toes. I hate no. long toes. I hate yeah, that's a little weird to me too. Where the toes go like this? No, bro. No. Yeah. Toes, petite feet. Oh man. Yeah. yeah I'm not really a it. foot guy, but like a hot foot. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm like so I'm like I, I'm not really a foot guy, but like a bitch with a, just like the per petite pair of feet there, and they're just like I feel like Desi probably like he got said. fucking long weird. Looking he does. Uh, no, no, yeah, no. She does. She actually does. Desi actually has <laughs> long, disgusting feet. It's like. Uh, one of the pictures that Boogie posted with her, her feet were out, and they were absolutely repulsive. Her toenails were yellow. <laughs> that, that that doesn't surprise me. I think she's very overrated to be honest. You know what? I can't. I should. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, she looks like she has Down syndrome. Trap. Let's yeah, be well, honest, dude. Come on. Well, like, here's yeah, the thing. What did she do? You know what I mean? Yeah, this I know. I that, shouldn't be yeah. so mean to her. You're right, but I mean, that's what I do for a living. So, but well. <laughs> Well, Ethan, it's we are gonna we are gonna turn that. Okay, we need you to start being a little more nice. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. I'll be a little bit more nice. I'll be a little bit more nice to Desi. Yeah. Yeah, I will say I think she's uh, I think she's overrated. That's for sure. But I think it's just because Boogie's so fucking underrated. You know what I mean? <laughs> what do you mean overrated? Who the hell thinks she's attractive? Uh, well, you know, I I, I see a lot of people just saying like they can't believe you know someone like hers with boogie like talking about her like she's a, like a fucking model or something and to me it's just like she's just some lost little fucking girl man and i don't want to call her ugly or anything but you know she's not That's exactly fine. A you're a lot nicer <laughs> than us um but uh boogie looks like he picked her up from the arkham asylum if you know what i mean like <laughs> uh, I, I i don't know exactly where where he did the picking there <laughs> And, uh, uh, and to yeah, I'm have guessing taking her virginity. Guessing, oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. I just, oh, go ahead. No, he took her virginity. That was one of the sickest things I've heard. Yeah. Uh, so I was, I, at first, I was thinking that they met on like a campsite because of the way fucking Mike Clum edited the documentary. It made it seem like she was a cam girl. But what she was trying to say is, I'm a camera girl. Like I camcord for Boogie and shit. Yeah, right. They all um, say that. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> so I don't know where, where the fuck they actually met if it was on Instagram or what, but I have a hard time believing that she was an actual fan of the fat guy Mountain Dew videos. First of all, like that's like before her fucking time. She's twenty years old. How the fuck does she even know who yeah, the old was like ten years is? ago, like, dude? 
Yeah, like, exactly. How the fuck does she even know who that guy is? And the only guy that she would know nowadays is is the guy talking about, like, I lost my money in crypto and, uh, you know, shooting blanks at Frank Hassel and shit. Yeah, he told me that was a blank, by the way. Did he? Dude, you have to send me these screenshots, please, God. Yeah, in the text. He texted, he was like, by the way, that was a, just so you know, that was a blank that I shot at. I think it was proven that, like, it was not a blank. Really? Like, these guys are fucking, like, these guys well, He's are a liar, act, though. Like, yeah, so, but, the, I mean, the, Boogie the is. The weirdest yeah, thing about this whole interaction is I found out that Wings and Boogie are the actual characters that these fucking trolls make them seem like. Because the, I swear to God, the first fucking thing that Wings said to me, this is hilarious. The first thing that he said in the Discord is, Ban Yolo Dick Swagger. He's my biggest troll. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh, By the way, we played okay. his video oh, yesterday. God. I can understand why I would want him banned. But, that is uh, the yeah. funny. I just thought it was like I was like this dude just like he's like a fucking he's playing his character. <laughs> fucking ban everybody over here. Like that's literally the first thing you fucking say to me. You should show up to Boogie's house with flowers for Desi. <laughs> oh my god, that would be cute if I could get a sponsor to take care of that. I swear to fucking with god, the boom box. Oh my the god, if anybody's if any rich listeners listening right now want to sponsor me for that, dude, Holy I would shit. do it. Well, you know, I would so fucking do it. That'd be hilarious. Kill I don't know. You know, but, I, um, I feel like I would have a lot of good content if I just had somebody that was filming me, but I'm not one of those. Like, I'm not a boogie that's going to sit there and, and hold the fucking camera on me. I just can't do that. I'm, I'm not good at that. Do you stream? No, I don't, but I should. I really should. Especially here in Las Vegas, and I have such a crazy fucking life uh, here in Las Vegas. It's, it's insane, man. Wow. So I feel like I would get a lot of good content out of this. Daily stream. Maybe Boogie but, Man, he was shooting blanks in a different way. Did you ever think about that? Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I think he shoots yeah, a lot of blanks, but maybe maybe not at Frank Hassel, if you know what I mean. You're really uh, going to like these texts, man, because it's, dude, it's please so God. also talking about how uh, it's okay that uh, now he has, now he feels like he's redeemed by, um, he can follow these girls on Instagram that he unfollowed when he got with Desi because of this situation. So, like, I feel like this it, it's just gonna lead to like worse and worse worse things in this whole relationship the whole thing with me he's gonna be questioning everything now if i was a guy i would fucking question everything especially if i got this bitch living with me you know what i mean and she's 20 years old and she's oh man i'm just hoping that he don't get her pregnant that's my biggest fear in this whole thing like for her like because i do yeah, I do. For some reason, I do care about her because she's some innocent girl in this whole situation. I'm hoping that she leaves before she gets pregnant. That's what I hope. <laughs> she's not leaving. That's the thing, dude. It's like Brantley Keem's girlfriend and Desi Boogie's girlfriend. It's like they are damaged. It's going to be very hard for them to leave. I don't believe like they'll ever leave. Yeah, and Kelly's not loyal either. I should have went out to her, honestly. Who the that fuck is Kelly? Because Wings would Wings really... I feel like Wings isn't afraid of me. But uh, Boogie is. I feel like Wings has that, uh, he has some kind of alpha in him, even though he's got no testosterone. Uh, he's got some kind of ego in him where I think it's because he beat up Boogie. I don't know. But um, I think Wings would fight me if I, he even said he would fight me for charity if there was money on the line, whatever the fuck that means, because that doesn't even make any sense. But uh, he, I think Wings, I think Wings is the fight to make happen if it actually did happen. What kind of porn do you watch? Jeez. Uh, <laughs> What's the last thing I watched? I don't know. Just girls getting the shit fucked out of them. Really. Pull up your history. <laughs> so, Pull up your history. Uh, I mean, it's it's nothing special. Literally, well, just like the. Last I mean, that's one. fine. I it doesn't have to remember be. Remember the last one last night was some missionary shit. But the girl, the girl's got to be going crazy, like ah, you know, like you, know, <laughs> you can't be sitting there like fucking boring and it can't be some like skinny ass white girl model either i gotta have like like some you know like some mill for some thick mexican girl or some black girl Ooh, i got a like thick that. mexican girl myself but uh, i won't get into that <laughs> but, uh, yo ethan can i ask you some questions about her uh depends on what they are but yeah just like sexual questions uh probably not <laughs> that's but, it but uh but you could uh, you could ask and you can see if i yeah. would answer yeah okay so you are you know, it's like I don't follow the whole like sort of uh, a logs about you too closely. Um, I do see something. So there is, is she, is she your girlfriend or is she more of like an escort sort of girlfriend experience? I'm I'm generally curious. 
No, she's my actual girlfriend. I'm going to fly out to see her on Thursday, actually. And she okay. comes here sometimes, too. She lives on the other side of the country, and she doesn't live in Merida yet. So uh, she came and stayed for the holidays. Uh, I'm going to go and stay with her for five days on Thursday. Uh, and so, no, she's not an escort. She's not an escort. Okay, cool. Um, and you guys have passionate sex? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> denigrate my uh, very hot Latina girlfriend by speaking too freely about our sex life, but yes, we have totally uh, very, very, right very, very, uh, very passionate sex. I will say that. Yes. Do you ever have sex on the beach? Um, I'll give a no comment on that. No comment on that. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you plan on potentially, you know, <laughs> putting one in her, a kid? Um, you know, Salvo, I think I might have enough uh, on that front, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah. good, good. That was the test. Okay, that was the test for you. I'm okay. That's yeah. a good response. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I might have enough on that front. You know, maybe like she's young. She's 23. Uh, so you know, I got plenty of time if I wanted to. But uh, yeah, I I think I have enough uh, going on on that front. To be honest with you, uh, a girlfriend, possible. Uh, fiance, wife down the line. Uh, you know who knows. You know, ten so years down the line. But uh, but no would be the answer. Uh, right now, no, I don't. Yeah. On that. Well, that's good. Well, that's good. So I also I also saw something about uh Jaden McNeil. Are you guys fighting? Uh, yeah, he's a faggot. Why don't you like <laughs> Jaden McNeil now? What <laughs> what happened with that? I just don't like him. I just think he's a smarmy faggot who got his one chance to blow out Nick Fuentes. Thanks to me, by the way. I got him on that show. Uh, and he got absolutely demolished. And he uh, plays third fiddle to a fat 800-pound fucking piece of trash from Canada and a crackhead from Canada. And he takes orders from them when it should be the other way around. Uh, and so I don't respect people who are just naturally... Uh, subservient and just naturally like number twos, number threes. Uh, mm -hmm. And he doesn't have, I don't, I don't even want to say the word alpha, just like he's just not a man. He's a pussy. That's, that's why I don't respect him. Okay. So you guys are going to fight? I mean, are we? I don't know. I thought, I thought, I thought he challenged you to like a fight or something. I don't I know. Mean, I would fight I him. Yeah. Not for free. This is the coolest time that we live in because everybody's a fucking fighter. I mean, I would fight him, but not for free. It's I mean, so I, cool. <laughs> you know, I, I was uh, Brock Lesnar, I think, gave this quote. I forget who, but uh, prize fighters. It's called prize fighting for a reason. For a reason. Uh, you you fight yeah. for money. I, I don't fight for free uh, unless That's I get jumped on the streets in Portugal. About me. But yeah, yeah, but. yeah. I, I fight for money, and uh, yeah, I would fight him for money for sure. Not if Keemstar Dude, was setting it up, though, because I don't trust that scumbag for anything. Uh, but, um, yeah, I would fight him. I would love to see you in the ring. I'd love to see it, too. Now, Dude, again, you're I got to get paid. What's going on with that? Say what? You're skinny now. What's going on with that? Well, also 100 pounds. Um, so, uh, the tortoise. Hey, congratulations, man. Yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. Are uh, you on Ozempic? No, I'm not actually, and I've I know that that's the thing that. Uh, what the fuck is said. that? Everybody's talking about that's like a magic drug or no, something. No, basically what I did was eat one meal a day for like six months, and then I also did some intermittent fasting, which is which is basically intermittent fasting in and in of itself, um, and drank a lot of water, uh, stopped yeah. drinking alcohol. Although I did have a, a little slip these past couple of weeks. Um, but, uh, stop drinking alcohol, ate one meal a day, intermittent fasting. And especially if you have a lot of weight to lose, um, it, it, you'll lose weight quick doing that. Yeah, that's exactly what and I'm cut out right soda, now. cut out, cut out most sugar. I won't say I cut out all sugar every once in a while. having a, you know, a little treat or whatever, nothing wrong with that, but, um, cut out most sugar, drink a lot of water, a lot of protein. And then the one meal a day is really what, uh, really what did it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you look really good. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate that. When can I come down uh, to Mexico? Right now, if you want. <laughs> will you host me? Will I? Yeah. Will I be allowed to have the whole Ralph Mail experience? Yeah, I'll host you. <laughs> yeah, I'll host you. I'm in the Yucatan. Yucatan, by the way. I live in Merida. Uh, Cancun's about three and a half hours away. 
Um, there's all kinds of beach spots is, spots all around here. Of course, Cancun is the most famous and, and, and well-known and most beautiful, but uh, we could go to Cancun. Merida itself has great uh, beaches all around it. Um, but uh, I'm in the Yucatan, and yeah, I would love to host you down here. Do you have a passport? A lot of these I American do motherfuckers don't have one. I just got my one. passport uh, renewed uh, this year. I just um, got my passport renewed last week, coincidentally. Dude, huh. It's serendipity. I'm going to come down. Like, what would you show me? Like, what would be like two days with uh, with Ethan Ralph in, in Mexico? Well, in Mexico, Yucatan. it's a little bit different, Salvo. Uh, it, it, it's uh, First off, it's a lot more laid back. It's not as like... You know, in America, like honking horns and this and that. It's, it's a lot more chill down here. It's not really like yeah, that. Yeah, it is um, If you enjoy the more extracurricular activities in life, um, you can enjoy those uh, as much as you want uh, in Mexico. Uh, police don't fuck with you. Um, great beaches, sexy Have women. you been shaken down yet? No, no, dude. Uh, in Merida, the Yucatan is the safest place in Mexico. It's literally Merida is one of the safest cities in North America. So, um, and I went to Mexico City uh, a month or two ago. I'm going back to Mexico City on Thursday, but then I'm going to Tosco, uh, which is in Guerrero State, uh, below Mexico City. Now it's a, it's a little more. Uh, I won't say dicey, but, uh, you know, they don't fuck with gringos in Mexico. Uh, spoiler alert, because it's more problem than worth. But uh, Merida is basically a safe zone. Uh, no, nobody gets killed here. There's no no open, you know, like uh, drug bang bang or anything like that. Uh, Merida is super safe. Merida is super safe. Yeah, I got to get my passport, man. Yeah, dude, it's super safe here. Yeah. Oh man, well Ethan, I do have to go because my phone's on ten percent and I'm on my phone right now. But um, dude, I always love to chat with you, Tra Trap Gambino, dude. What a what a good op you did. You know that's so funny, and I think I think that you should kind of be for me for Sabo Pancakes, make an effort to kind of eat some pussy soon. Okay. <laughs> hey man, you know what? Just for you. <laughs> I got you, I got you. And think of me when you're face down in the labia. <laughs> I got you, man. All right. All right. Hey, uh, gentlemen, so Ethan, hit me up. I'd love to come on some other day, buddy. Yeah, let's do it, brother. It nice right. meeting you, man. Peace. I appreciate Peace, it, brother. Guys. Take it easy. Later, Salvo. Glad we got it figured out. Salvo Pancakes are live on the kill stream. Now, can can we send those? Do, do you want? You can just send them to me after, I guess. Um, after, but, but yeah, I'm on my cell phone right now. Yeah, yeah, so I'm yeah. You at the same time. Yeah, I don't think you can send it at the same time. So, but send them to me so that I can show them today because I would love to show them today. Oh, I got, dude, I'll do it right when the show ends for sure. Okay, right well, the we show ain't gonna end until 10 p.m., but you won't be here. I'll this do whole it right time. when we hang up. Yeah, right sure. when we hang up. But I want to give you a chance to promote your stuff. Uh, and I'm actually gonna come to Vegas. You know, I uh know somebody who got married in Vegas. I'll just say. Uh, and, um, I won't get into all that, but, uh, I've heard of people <laughs> getting, I've heard of people getting married in Vegas by Elvis Presley and stuff like that. Uh, and, uh, I've been to Vegas about, uh, eight times now. Uh, I went once, oh, once in one in 2021, I've been like seven times since, and it's really cheap to fly from Cancun to Vegas, especially. Uh, they make and, it cheap here so you can come and yeah, and, yeah, so you can just come and party. <laughs> That's why yeah. it's so cheap to fly to Cancun too. And the thing about Cancun <laughs> is you can fly almost like anywhere in the world uh, from Cancun, yeah. but specifically Cancun to Vegas is like a really cheap flight. Uh, and I would definitely be down to come to Vegas. I just got my passport renewed. You know, a lot of people are talking about Man, we'd have they a were going to revoke my there. passport. They're not going to do that, by the way. Uh, I just got it. I love the new passports, by the way. If you got a new passport recently, they look really smooth. Uh, so get your passport. I can come see you, though, without a passport because I already have mine. Without you getting yours, I mean. Uh, yeah, man, so, you should. We'd have a lot of fun up here. But, yeah, man, promote your stuff and tell people where they can find you because I had a lot of fun with this. I know Salvo, yeah, you know, I, I consider myself a little bit of a Howard Stern type throwback, but Salvo went full Howard Stern here today. Yes. Uh, and, <laughs> I, and, and I really do appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, I really do appreciate it. He uh, definitely knows how to scoop his way out of a, a, a bad conversation. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so uh, my name is Trap Daddy. Uh, you can follow me at Trap Daddy MMA on Instagram. That's where I'm the coolest at. I'm starting to be uh, starting to learn to be cool on Twitter. I just got my verification on oh, bullshit. So um yeah, Trap Daddy MMA on anything, Snapchat, all that stuff. Uh YouTube, I'm on YouTube. You just Google Trap Daddy uh Gambino. 
that's what comes up, man. So yeah, the next big uh, show is LFC on uh, February 14th, the Lingerie Fighting Championships. If you want to see me on pay-per-view, I think it's on Tubi as well. So yeah, uh, if you can't be there, it's at the FSW Arena here in Las Vegas. Uh, you can uh, order it online. So if you can't get your tickets in person, come online. Oh, and uh, tell us where to follow you. And uh, some, some mod will post it in chat. If not, I'll go back and post it later. Uh, but tell us where to follow you on Twitter. We want to try to uh, get you to be more of a regular guest. I really enjoyed having you on. And I am going to come see you in that, Vegas. You. I am going to take you up on your offer, by the way, to come see you in Vegas. Dude, and we can get hella content out of it, too. That's what I'm saying. Are... That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's uh, Trap Daddy MMA on Twitter. Trap Daddy MMA on Twitter. By the way, my girl yeah. is a Mexican citizen, and she doesn't have her passport. And, you know, what's funny is it takes, like, one day, literally, to get your passport in Mexico. And I'm like, why the fuck don't you have your passport? It's so fucking easy. Uh, <laughs> it's a pain in the fucking ass to get your passport sometimes in the U.S. But, oh, you know what? Yeah, I got yeah. mine renewed in Mexico. Uh, I went to the consulate and uh, got the passport card and the passport book. If you don't get them both, they make you mail it in. So I said, okay, well, give me the card, too, so I could go to the consulate. Uh, and they had me my new passport within three weeks. And despite what people say, they don't suspend your passport, actually, for any reason. Uh, they just uh, will refuse to renew it if you're behind on certain uh, responsibilities. Uh, but, uh, yeah, my passport is looking good and clean and crisp, and I would love nothing more to use it. Promote yourself once again, Trap Daddy. I appreciate it, brother. Yeah, so y'all can follow me at uh, Trap Daddy MMA, and I appreciate you having me on and uh, let me talk and putting a voice out there for your audience. Thank you, brother. You have a good one. Appreciate you, man. Thank you for watching this clip. This is Ren. Remember to like and subscribe.